for a period of instruction on this 40, 40 pound crater in charge, gentlemen. All right. Who knows? Uh, who knows how a crate, uh, shape charge works? Grant, you don't have to stand up. Just. I use the Monroe effect to make more like it focuses. Very well. Yeah. A shape charge normally consists basically it's a cone. It's the Monroe effect. All right. In easier translation, what that does is when this charge goes off, all right, in that split second of you know of explosion. What this charge creates, the explosive creates a slug. So it turns that cone from being, you know, facing at this 45 degree angle upright into a hot, molten steel slug that will go pretty much through anything. All right. You could call this uh, also an anti tank. And when that slug goes through and it starts bouncing around, as hot as it is, as fast as it is, you guys can just pretty much picture the consequences of what kind of damage this charge is gonna do. All right. So far, I don't have any questions. Very well. Moving on. You got, if you can see, see how it tapers down. All right. That's where. That's where. So your blasting cap can actually sit in there, nice and tight. Okay. And it's gonna sit in there, you know, nice and tight. And when you prime in, you put your blasting cap in there, front line. We're gonna take our deck cord, sensitize our deck cord, and what that means again, like I explained this morning, you're gonna have, you're gonna crimp a blasting cap, non-electric blasting cap, on your on your deck cord. No, or that you want to see about this thing. Uh, another thing, uh, which I'll just add to add to this uh, period of instruction is, in this particular charge, this cone. I mean, like I said, some of them have glass. The 15 pound charge that we all used in engineer school. Uh, that one, I don't know. Um, when we're down there actually in place here, take your time. We're gonna do it right. We're not gonna be running around, crimping and falling everywhere. Good to go. Yeah, that's uh, we will be crimping over there. Where's Tavar at? Oh, yeah. He's still up top. Oh, that's we'll get him on the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're gonna line up and just go back up, right? Yes. Is there anybody up there with them? They can, they can run the. Yes, stop, sir. Hey. hey, you guys need eye pro if you're. Roger that, stop, sir. Yes, it's eye pro. The court. Yeah, we're gonna take that 50 foot chunk off. Too. Uh, That's the only yeah. thing you guys need eye pro if you guys can do it. When you grab your blasting cap, yes. you're gonna grab it with three points of contact. See what I'm doing right here? You're gonna look at your blasting cap. You're gonna look inside. Make sure there's nothing in there. A little tap right there. Make sure there's nothing in there. You can do a ring. You're gonna take it. Three points of contact. Inspect your blasting cap. Is there anything in there? Okay, very well. You're gonna push it in until it seats, until you feel it. Don't let those fingers get in the way. You know, you got big hands, you can use them, okay? You're going, your first crimp is gonna be approximately three eighths of an inch up. You know what that means? Yes, sir. Okay, show me. Beautiful, right there. All right, before you crimp completely, put your head down, yell crimping. Crimping! Crimp! Okay, squeeze, let's see. Perfect. Now go down. Crimp, put your head down when you're ready. Crimping! Crimp! Well, outstanding. That's how it should look. Roll that up. Crimping! Crimping. Thank you, my soul. Thank you. What are you going to do? Take your cam. Pay attention. You can turn the fuse off. All the way down. That's what you want to do.
this uh that goes right here. Okay, you don't need a shit ton of tape. Okay? There, 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 there. Same Everything. thing, okay? Make sure we don't have any twists in that thing. Keep just uh, laser. Need, I always tape just twice. Uh, twist it, don't pull it. Dad. Twist. Okay. Keep going, just do it from the end. There you go. Fuck up, stuff, aren't